Howdy folks and welcome back to 50 Knock Mile Arc. Very first thing I want to say is I am now uploading videos in 1080p. I know people have been asking me for a long time, why has everything been 720p for these past couple years? And that's just because my upload speed on my home internet was so slow that it would take 12 hours to upload an hour long 720p video. But now I have a beefy internet pipe because my day job has become a home job. So I've updated my internet at home, so now I can upload an hour-long 1080p video in less than 35 minutes. So starting with this video, everything is in 1080p. Sorry it's not 4K, but in order to do that, I would have to get a new computer because my editing software won't edit in 4K, and I'd have to update my computer to get the updated software. So 1080p it is. I think most people watch these videos on their phones and stuff anyway, so 1080p should be just fine. I know it's not the latest and greatest, but it's sure better than 720, so we'll take it. I was also going to mention that I had a whole bunch of extreme airport videos planned, and as soon as I started flying them, I realized that I'd forgotten that X-Plane does not have scenery covering the entire planet. There's a certain latitude north and south where the scenery stops. For X plane and that's just the way it is it's not like I haven't downloaded anything or anything it's just it doesn't cover the entire world and I've forgotten that so I had to scrap like five flights that I have planned but one of those flights was to land on snow with skis so I found an airport one of only two airports in the flight simulator that has snow runways with scenery around it there are a whole bunch of snowy runways, but they're all like in Antarctica, where there's no scenery, or near the North Pole, where there's no scenery. So I found a snow runway. That's not where we are now. We're going to fly to it. There's a second snow one runway on a little island in Italy that doesn't exist in real life, but it exists in the sim. I couldn't figure that one out. So I thought that would have been kind of fun. It's just a silly thing to fly to the snow runway at sea level in Italy on an island, but uh, maybe another time. Anyway, so we're going to fly to a legit snow runway. The only one I could find an X-plane that has scenery around it, and that's legit. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take the Twin Otter with skis. I've never landed on skis before. I think the only way we stop is just use reversers. I don't think there's like a brake that comes out or anything like that. I think it's reversers will stop us way back in my FSX days. I landed on skis all the time, but um, in X-Plane, I've never done it, so I'm taking the Twin Otter by RW Design version 2 on skis. Hopefully, we can figure out how to drop those skis. I'm hoping it's just the gear down button, but we'll find out in a little bit. And we're going to land on a snow runway in Canada. So we're back in Canada again. A lot of Canadian flights, but that's okay. So we are taking off at Port Hardy, which is Charlie Yankee Zulu Tango and we're gonna fly 68 or 65.8 miles nautical miles to the north northeast to Silverthorne Glacier Strip which is Sierra Sierra Gulf Lima <laughs> the Louisiana Lima and um, those same letters represent a closed runway over in Argentina or something. So, but anyway, it's a legit place. I looked it up, did some research. Real world weather is turned on with some heavy cloud cover, and that's why I'm getting like 20 frames per second instead of 30 or 40, which isn't going to affect us too much. But um, I'm kind of getting sick of spinning around slow camera. But it looks like, well, it looks like I might have to turn off weather because there's the mountains. That's where we're going, and the clouds are lower than the mountains. And the only way to find this place is visually, and it's not that far. It's like just off this off the horizon from what you can see. That's where we're going. So I might have to turn off the clouds as we get closer because I don't think we can land there in these conditions. But we'll find out once we get in the air. We're going to use a GPS to get there. There's no instrument approach or anything. It's just visual, but we'll use a GPS. So let's get this thing started. I am in my dark room also fighting a migraine, so I'm trying to look at my checklist using the computer monitor. All right, so parking brake set. Where is the parking brake in this thing? Oh boy, these frame rates are hideous because of the weather. Um, parking brake, there it is, at the bottom of the screen. Parking brake is set. We'll do the fuel and payload, which means we have to pull out our black book, go to weight and balance, move that guy over. 
All right, let's not tip the plane over this time. Um, wait, is the plane tipping even before it did anything? No, that was kind of strange. Do you see that shadow going across? Anyway, oh, it's the propeller shadow. Okay. Um, we're going to put some people in the back, so we have to first put more fuel in the front. So those of you who think I'm crazy, look at my other videos. <laughs> I start putting people in, and the airplane tips over. And we're going to tip over anyway. Do you see that? See a tip back, so let's put more people in the front. No, no, just coming down. A lot of people want to go to this place. A lot of people want to land on snow, so we're going to fill this up. Ooh, we're almost tipping back, so let's put more fuel in the front. Max... Oh, okay, we're above. Okay, fine. We don't need this much fuel anyway. Let's um take some fuel out of the back instead. Take some fuel out of the front instead. And we're not tipping over yet. We're getting close. We're teetering a little bit. That's how we're going to stay. Put a little bit more in front. So we don't tip over. Move this down so I can close that up. There we go. Okay, that's some tricky things. Remove the control lock, which you come down here and click on that thing. Where are you? There you are. Um, battery switch up above. Everything's a flicker. There we go. Now we're on battery. DC master turned on. Remove the GPU. And I should be closing Vegas doors soon too, right? Well, not yet. All right, GPU. Oh my gosh, I do this every time, don't I? I got to take the book out. And then swing around, and now it's in my way. Now I gotta move it over, and it just flung off my screen. And GPU off. Let's close the biggest doors while we're at it so we don't have to go through this again. There we go. All right, come up and turn on some lights. Anti-collision, POS, position. <laughs> Sorry, my day job, I do POS stuff. It's like technical stuff for that. So that's not POS, it's position. No smoking in the fast sleep already on. Flight compartment. Somebody thank you in the comment section explaining to me that this is flight compartment lights. Flight compartment fans. I now know what that means. Those are on. Emergency lights can arm now, which will be like... Oh, is this the up to go down one? Yep, this is the up to go down one. I don't get that, but that's okay. Alright, let's get our GPS turned on. Already it is turned on. Okay. I guess we'll go with it then. Let's turn on the other radios. Both our navs and our comms and our ADF and our, um, oh, there's ADF. No, not you. They're ADF. Okay, we're not going to use it, though. Flight plan, there isn't one. We are simply going to go. How come this is all off? I got to fix this weird preset. Um, anyway, we got to go down one. Whoa, let's pop you out. I normally don't pop this out, but we're going to today. And we're going to go to, what was it, Sierra Sierra, Golf, Lima. So let's get that in here quickly. Just like so. I'm glad it's the right one. Like I said, there's another airport with the same letters. And we're just going to go direct. And it's already there. Boom. Here with the message. 65.6. I was close. Let's zoom this thing out a second. And it's just a little hop, skip, and a jump. It's about, I don't know, let's do 50 miles. Uh, yeah, let's do 50 for now. Then we'll bring that in as it gets closer. All right, there we go. No radios or anything to tune. That was it. All right. Altimeter barometer. Let's see. We do have real world weather. And what are we? Oh, no. Oh. Click on the airport, please. Details. Three zero zero zero. All righty. So we'll come over here and zoom in so I can see. Three zero. Zero, zero, there we go. Oh, we're right on the water, by the way. That's why we're only 300 feet above sea level. We're pretty much on the water. Well, get that update thing off the screen. There we go. Test the caution lights, which means it's over here somewhere. I forgot, here we go. Test, now well, that one's up to go up. Up, there we go, I think it's G. There we go, everything's working. Good, bring it, let's just bring it to bright. Because it's going to be daytime. It's like 7.45 a.m. Close the doors. Already did. Now we're going to close the back door. Clicky, clicky. There's a click spot there. Now that that closed, we can hop up front. I can't remember my preset for this door. There it is. Biggest door's already closed. We did that early. Passenger cockpit doors closed. It's all right. We can get the things fired up. So fuel boost. Turn these on. There we go. Like so. 
fuel levers forward there they are throttles a quarter forward like so engine igniters I really don't know which direction they're supposed to be. Someone told me up, but the rest of these are down. I have no idea. We'll turn them down anyway. Um, flick engine to the left. It should start up if I did everything right. Sounds like it's working. Let's hop down here. I think they're spinning around. Yep, props are firing up. And I see in the shadow that the props are spinning. So let's hop up here and do the other one. And my frame rates are just... Oh my gosh. I didn't even move, but it started. That's how bad my frame rates are from this weather. I also think my seven-year-old gaming laptop is starting to bite the dust because there's a fan bearing making noise, and it's running so hot I can't even touch the darn thing. And it might be time for an upgrade. Of course, this time I'll get a high-end desktop. It's just, when I bought the laptop, I was couch-bound or bed-bound due to health issues, which is why I got a gaming laptop. Not the most, ex well, not the most expensive, the highest spec I could afford six years ago, which still beats a lot of gaming PCs, even that many years ago. So if I do want to get a gaming PC, it's going to be a pretty penny. But anyway, enough of that. Let's hop up here and do the generation. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. I can't, this is unusable frame rates. I'm going to have to do something about this. This isn't normal. I think my PC is just starting to go like it's running hot, and which means it runs slow. I think that's what's going on. Engine igniters can come off now. Let's go like that. Put them back where they were. Air bleed. Where are you? Over here. Temperature and climate. So let's warm it up a little bit. Put that on auto. Just because we can. Let's hold it as well because we can. There we go. De-icer. Sure. Prop. Sure. May auto. Slow, everything else will keep the same way it is. Pytot heat, where are you in the middle? Yep. Taxi lights, yep. Let's head down here, make sure the warnings are out. Generator, you saw me flick those generators. I went down to reset and back to on. I swear I did, I know I did. Let's try it again. Hmm, maybe it took me so long to start up the generators are working or they're charging. Well, we'll let them be. I mean, they're on, and I reset them correctly, so we won't worry about it. Moving along, moving along, taxi lights are already on, props forward as needed. That's an interesting remark, but we're going to torque around, too. Whoa, there we go. Oh, yeah, test my reversers, because I always have problems with my reversers, and that's the one on my left yoke. I'm going to reverse. See, my reversers aren't working. See, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So that's why I test them. And why are we smoking? That's my brakes doing that, by the way. My reversers. I need my reversers to work if we're going to stop on ice. Let me do props forward and try reversers. There we go. Whoa. No, nope. we're just popping willies. That wasn't me. <laughs> that's just us popping willies. See, that happens sometimes, where instead of reversing, it pops a wheelie. So my reversers aren't working right now. That happens, that's why I test them. So what's going to happen is we're going to land, and as soon as I engage my reversers, the front end's going to tip up. It always happens. Well, we'll just go with it. Let's bring those throttle or the props back a little bit. Anyway, let's taxi out of here. Flaps down to 10 right now, I guess. There we go. Let's hop outside. I want to test the skis. If I go gear down, do the skis go down? Nope. If I go gear up? Nope. How do I get these skis to work? Maybe when we're in the air, we'll play with it. The back one is definitely down. The front one looks... Or up. The front one looks down, though. Hmm. I don't know. I didn't see anything down here. I was looking a little bit off camera. Let's see, I have a preset for that somewhere. I don't see anything about... Hmm, don't see anything there. I don't see anything about these skis. What's this? No, I don't know. We'll have to figure it out together, I guess. Alrighty, so we're going to taxi out of here. Um, the weather, I believe, was... 
like five knots from three something. Oh, it's totally different than what Sky Vector said. It's 10 knots from 121, 12 knots from 135. It was only five knots when I downloaded the weather. That's quite a bit of difference. So what runway do we have here? Looks like the one right behind us, whatever runway that is. What's that gonna be, 16 probably? Well, let's make a U-turn and go to wherever that takes us. So let's hop out here. U-turn, oh, right there behind us. Let's just go there. Alrighty, taxi view, where are you? Get the mouse out of the way. Parking brake off. Turn this thing around. We'll see how this goes. We're smoking. We're smoking as though we are rubbing our skis on the ground. But we're not rubbing our skis on the ground. And why can I not go right again? This happened the other day too, where I couldn't go right. I can only go left. Very strange. See, our skis are rubbing. Right? I'm really confused about this. Are we just dragging skis on dry ground right now? Doesn't look like it. But the smoke tells me that we are. Huh. Anyway, let's just get off to the runway here. Yeah, I have like no control. I think we're dragging skis on the ground. Hmm. Anyway. Very interesting. Let's get out here. I'm going to test my verses again too once we get on the runway. Alright, let's line up here. Hit the brakes. The brakes work though. Hmm. Hit the parking brake. I know we're not lined up, but so be it. Alright, what are we doing? Get those flaps down to 30. Well, let's do 20. Actually, it should be 10. What am I thinking? Let's go back to 10. Flaps down to 10. There we go. Taxi lights off. Landing lights on. Which are down here now. See, those go up. And then my lighting. General entrance off. So it's all dark in the back. Shut the clock. This has a chronometer on here, I think. Yes, it does. Oops. 702. That was... That's not what... It's supposed to be 745. Whatever. Start the clock. Goodness, I'm having a lot of weird issues today. A lot of sim issues. All right. Well, let's see what happens. I wanted to check our... So we're going to go off to the left. And then follow our little thing. I guess I could use autopilot, maybe. Set that to GPS just in case. All right. Here we go. Parking brake off. Props forward. Let's try to line up a little bit, though, before we... Yeah, this has to be on skis right now, because I can't do much. Let's see if we can even get enough speed to get out of here. Man, this is crazy. Well, the front tire's not smoking, just the back ones are smoking. Okay, well, here we go. And yeah, we're, we're barely getting speed. There's 60 knots. There's 70, now we're getting speed. There you go, lift up. We're airborne, sort of, and the wind has really blown us around. All right, let's get some speed. We took that whole runway almost, holy cow. Flaps coming in. And we're gonna be in the clouds in no time, so I think we're gonna have to turn the weather off if we wanna make a landing. I really do, because I'm not gonna be able to see much here. That looks fantastic, though. Nice, nice looking scenery. All right, let's make our turn to the left, then we'll try to figure out these skis. All right, didn't get autopilot. I don't know why I didn't talk about, talk through it, but I had about 95 knots. I clicked IES, and we'll speed back up to that. And then I did NAV, which will lock us to the GPS, and then I just quickly increased my altitude to 11.7 and then hit Alt Alert, just so I can check out some other stuff while we're cruising along here. Simple as that. So just a quick review. I was at my speed of like 95 knots. I yes, boom, it'll speed back up to that and hold us there. It always dips down at first for some reason. Nav to lock the GPS, which we're clearly following, and alt alert. One, two, three. And don't worry about engine management in this aircraft. Alright, yeah, that wind is really screwing us around. Oh well, anyway. So very beautiful scenery already. Real world weather is beautiful like always. You cannot replicate real world weather. But the problem we're gonna have is um, we can't see where we're going. So 
Anyway, we're going to fly out over the water a little bit, and then there's more land mass up there. That's where we're headed. So let's figure out these skis. Let's zoom in here. So clearly the skis are up, even though we had smoke on the ground. So let's go gear down. Nothing. Let's go gear up. Nothing. So my gear toggle does nothing. I wonder if I have to do a preset in the keyboard binding. Hmm, let me check that all quick, and I'll cut right back. Okay, I just went through all the keyboard commands that are possible, and there's nothing about skis at all. So, I guess I don't know how I'm supposed to lower the skis in this thing. Maybe they're not modeled, maybe it's just for looks? I have no idea. I'm just looking around, because in other aircraft you'll see things down here, like floats, or rudder, or anchor, but I don't see anything. So, um... I will do some research after I've made this video, but feel free to leave a comment if you know anything about operating skis, because chances are I won't find anything. Anything down here? What if I look down here? No, that's just trim. Yaw dampers. Wait, what's this? Something about down. What's that do? LW down, RW down. That must be um, trim stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I did something because the plane went crazy. Nope. We're still... Still looks like the tires are on the ground even though we got smoke. As though we were dragging skis. So, don't know what to tell you. Alrighty, well... Whoa, dear. Okay, sorry about that. So we have about a little bit more than half an hour to go. Of course, when we get to 11,000 feet, we will speed up substantially. I did check the weather up ahead of time, and it's only one knot, the winds, but it's the clouds I'm concerned about. So, um, not sure what we're going to do there. We'll see. We'll keep the clouds on for a little bit. Otherwise, 7,000 feet, so that's no big deal. We're just going to go along. And do some sightseeing, and there's nothing else to play with. We've got autopilot engaged. Can't figure out the skis. There's not much to see, because it's all clouds. But we'll do some sightseeing anyway. And the lights do work in this one. These little individual lights. But there we go. Sightseeing time. I'll catch you in a little bit. And we'll decide when we're going to come down. We're going to decide what we'll do about the weather. See you then. All right, I had to turn off the clouds because I couldn't see anything. And to top it off, um, my frame rates are still down at like 15, and it's because my gaming computer is overheating, which means it slows down. But if I put my hand on the left side, it's warm but tolerable. If I put my hand on the right side, it burns so hot I can't even touch it. So, I don't know. Our frame rates are usable. I don't see any stuttering, so we'll be able to land the plane, but um, I'm going to have to really think hard about what we're going to do here, because this is my main hobby. So anyway, enough depressing conversation. Let's hop back inside. Where are we at here? 32 minutes away still. Man, that seems like a long time. What are we at? We're at 8,000 feet. We need to be at 7,300 to land so these mountains are going to get higher because we're barely above the airport altitude so anyway I just want to give that quick update that it did turn off weather because I couldn't see and um, 
I'm really disappointed about frame rates because of the heat, but I'll figure it out. Not for you to worry about. I'll just keep the content coming. But I'm getting way ahead of myself. It's time to fly this plane and land it safely on skis. And I'll catch you again in a couple minutes. All right, so we're about to have to start to do something here. I lowered us to 10,000 feet so that we don't have to come down like 2,700 feet. So 1,000 feet per minute, that is just shy of two minutes out. And we're five minutes out, so we're almost there. I've been going for 26 minutes on the clock. Um, it's been way longer than that in real life because my frame rates are at like 14 frames per second because of the overheating computer. But I noticed that there is some snow represented in this HD version 4 mesh and the mountaintops. We've gone high enough now that there's snow. There is snow on the sim. And I'm very excited. It looks like we're going to hit these mountains, but we're a good three or 4,000 feet above them. But um, I've been using the GPS a little bit. And then the map says that we have a runway 1 we can use. 1 in 19. So the angle we're at... If I just veer off to the right just a little bit, we should be able to catch runway 1, which will be about this angle here. And we should just be able to fly right in. I don't know if we'll be able to circle the land. I have no idea. We're cooking pretty good, though. So imagine the runway isn't... Whoops, see? I'm pushing buttons, and things change like 10 seconds later because the sim is just stalling out on me. Um, but anyway, if we zoom in... I think that's a runway right there, and it is. There it is. It's a snow runway, folks, in the simulator among the snow top mountains. So, what we're going to do is, I think we'll do heading bug, and I think we will go over this area here and then land. So, let's do that now. So, let's um, see if this cooperates. Move the heading bug. Try to 
go like that. There we go. Oh, no. We're going to have to scroll wheel it all the way around. Let's go about where we are now to start with. Hit heading. That'll turn us just a little bit. And then we want to aim. What did I say want to aim for? We want to aim over to the right a little bit. Because there's our runway. We want to have lots of time to figure out what we're doing. So let's aim for that open spot there. So let's bring this thing back. Whoop, this way, this way, this way. Let's go like that. And then we'll have plenty of time to make an approach and come down our 2,700 feet or whatever it's going to be. Oh, we want to come over even more. We're going to make everybody puke. How are you guys doing back here? Can you handle it? Looks amazing. Even with the crappy frame rates, it looks amazing. Wow. How awesome is that? Let's just enjoy this for a moment. Yeah, there's, that's where we wanted to go. And then we'll just make a steep descent. Actually, we can start descending now, probably. Because that runway is at 73. I think it said it was at 7,300. We're at 10,000. That's where I'm getting the... Um, that's where I'm getting the 2,700 feet descent from. That should give us plenty of approach. Plenty. That was much easier to spot. Probably because there's grass. <laughs> so it's in the snowy mountains. And there's grass around the snowy runway. So that's how it's represented in the sim. That's hilarious. Anyway. Um, so let's come down, I guess. How do you descend in this thing? I can't remember. Let's bring this thing down. Just... 75, I guess. Alt alert. And then IAS and bring back throttles. Is it going to work that way? Oh, maybe it is. Whoop, I don't want to come down that steeply, though. Goodness gracious. We don't want to go any steeper than 1,000 feet per minute. We're two and a half out, so we want to come down just about that or so. Looks like it's going to work, though. So we're landing on skis. I've been trying off camera to get these skis to come down. I can't. So they look like they're up. But the way we were dragging smoke implies they're down as far as the sim is concerned. So we're just going to have to figure this out. We'll figure it out. It won't be a problem. All right, 9,400 and coming down. We want to be at 73 on the runway. We also have to slow down a lot, too. And I'm wondering if my reversers are going to stop us or if we're going to pop a wheelie. So the two things that happen with reversers in this model is if they work, you do reversers and you slow down. If they don't work, even if you're flying down the runway, as soon as you engage reversers, the airplane tips on its tail. doesn't matter your speed. It just, it'll pop a wheelie and tip on the tail. The first time I flew this, that's what happened. I checked the replay off camera. And that's what had happened. But that was a long time ago. And it hasn't happened since. But um, that might be what happens today. So if we hit reversers and you see the front end bobbing up and down, that's what's going on. But um, we'll see here. All right, let's go autopilot. Which one's autopilot? That one. Let's bring back throttles because we got to slow down. Why are we floating up? All right, we should be able to do this just fine. Trim this thing down. Why is it doing that? Bring back throttles a little more. Put them back in a little bit so we can approach about 95 or so. Haven't even done flaps yet, and we're already bobbing all over the place. All right, looks like we got to, like, clear this mountain. Hmm, this is going to be interesting. Let's keep our speed up a little bit. We slowed down way faster than I thought we would. All right, we're at 8,400. All right, we're at 8,400, so we got to come down 1,000 feet. But I don't want to clip this mountain. We'll keep our speed up, though. I don't want to get flaps out and stuff yet. I'm really nervous about using reversers because we saw what happened on my test, and I know what that implies. My, my generator still never turned off. I reset them two times and they still never turned off. Oh well, or the alerts never turned off. All right, flaps 10. 
All right, let's descend a little more. We got to come down, well, 800 or so. And if we overshoot the runway, we just go right off the cliff. Flaps 20. We will land at flaps 30 because I want to go as slow as possible. Let's level off here. Notice we're not doing any sightseeing. I apologize. We'll do a little bit there. Okay, we're done. We're below the train around us, which is just awesome. All right, let's see. We're at 7,700. Flaps 30. Keep that speed up, though. We don't want to go too slow yet. 70 coming down. I'm really nervous about stopping. We're on skis, on snow. We don't have little, like, brakes to come out as far as I know. All right, here we go. It's so creepy and unnerving to see an uphill runway with a cliff at the end. Keep our speed up descending. I'm going to go sterile so I can try to do this half realistically. Alright, we're down. Nose wheel is down. Let's see what happens when I use your brakes. Brakes are working. Why are brakes working? Let's use reversers. See? <laughs> reversers made us flip to the side. Weird. Why do the brakes work? Very interesting. See how the front end is lifting up? See? That's those reversers. That's the problem with reversers when they don't work. Let's use rudder to get back on there. Weird. Let's hop outside and see how horrible this looks. Yeah, we're all over the place. But we did it. We landed on skis. And we're fishtailing. Look at this. We're going sideways. But watch, the brakes work. Look at Why do the brakes work? Weird. Now watch for the reversers. Oh, now they're working. Now the reverses are working. Okay, whatever. Anyway, can't explain it. Just do the best we can with what we've got. Let's go all the way to the end. I like the outside look better. Come on, all the way to the end. And we'll just park at the end once we make it up there. That is so funny how it just kind of does what it wants. I guess it would on ice and snow, right? I'm actually looking in the distance in that little valley up there. That's so awesome. All right, we're gonna, we'll park this thing we'll have a look around. Do some sightseeing that way. Let me get this thing off of this runway and we'll take a peek. All right, so I decided to do a replay of this landing just to see how hilarious this is. Because this is pretty funny. I mean, you gotta admit it. So we come down. The touchdown was actually okay. Wasn't bad. Oh, we did bounce a little bit. Oh, well, we're on ice. Give me a break. <laughs> but then I put in reversers and watch what happens. Just watch. It goes over and then it pops this wheelie. See that? See? That's what the reversers do if they're not working. You pop a wheelie and then the brakes worked. But then if we go along... I engage reversers again, and then they work the second time. I didn't change keen bindings, I just did reversers again. So you should be able to hear it here, I think. In just a moment. Wait for it. There we go, reversers. And that time they worked. No wheelies that time, only the first time. And nothing changed in between, other than I just tried again, so can't explain it it's just an issue I have with this aircraft very strange and I'm still entertained that the brakes do something on ice on skis that we're not really on skis but we're smoking we're smoking them good anyway let's hop back to real time and take a look around
All right, so here we are. Let's see if we can look around without the um, smoke getting in our way. This is so cool. I love how we're below the surrounding terrain. That is so neat. Cliff in a few different directions, especially that cliff there. Let's back away a second. I know it's going to be quiet now, but just love those valleys. Those valleys up there. In the snow. Snow-capped mountains. How neat is that? Well, that looks cool, too. Whoops. I'm trying to get the sun in there, but I don't think we're going to. Anyway, I know this is an awkward way to do sightseeing, but I had to focus on flying that plane. And our sound is coming back. A lot of smoke. Let's hop inside and shut this thing down. Where is my checklist? Um, I'll stop the clock. Why is my flashlight on? That was weird. It wasn't really 41 minutes. Take away a couple for our landing. So like 37-ish minutes probably. We can probably kill some stuff now. Kill some lights. Yada, yada, yada. I'm actually honestly not even going to go through all that. All the other videos, we fly this thing a lot. We shut down everything properly. We're just going to open up the doors and get out of here. And um, hook up some ground power. And get the baggage doors going. And just let everybody out. We've seen the drill. Um, it's already awkward enough flight as it was. Changing the weather halfway through. And popping wheelies on the runway. <laughs> <laughs> all kinds of funny stuff but anyway um so be it welcome to silver Th throne did i say silver thorn earlier silver throne glacier strip british columbia canada twin otter on skis we finally did the ski landing but anyway if you found me back soon please subscribe if you're a subscriber thank you for your continuing support I don't care that my computer's overheating. I'm going to keep uploading content until this thing won't run again. And then I'll just replace it. So that's for me to worry about behind the scenes. Nothing for you to worry about. I do have a series planned. And um, you'll see it when it gets uploaded. But welcome to 1080p, as I said in the beginning of the video. And I'll catch you on the next one.